done all the research so you don't have to. So, Jim, you're going to give us a, a player from each salary tier that we should get into our lineups. Who's on your list this week? Yeah, I agree with you guys that the Steelers are probably in a good spot for this week. But from a fantasy perspective, the Browns are just so much more friendly for fantasy because the usage is more concentrated. So I like Baker Mayfield. It's been a bad year for him so far this year, but a lot of that is due to bad touchdown luck. He's had multiple touchdowns in only one game this year, and that happened to be last week. But they've significantly cut down on Baker's time to throw, which is good to get the ball out of his hand faster. That'll be a key this week. So Baker, I think, makes sense at 15-5. I also think Nick Chubb is in a good spot. We did see Kareem Hunt make his debut last week, but even in that, Nick Chubb's snap rate actually went up. He was around 60% the previous two games. He was at 80% last week, 20 carries and four targets, and he ran 27 routes in that game. So Nick Chubb is still a really good fantasy asset as a home favorite. I think that he makes a lot of sense here. Also, Odell Beckham, just from a salary perspective, getting him at 11-5 in this game I think is really intriguing because, yes, they have cut down Baker's time to throw. That means fewer deep throws, but... Even in that time, Beckham is still getting two or three deep targets per game. He has a 25% target share in this four-game sample. I think both he and Jarvis Landry are very good options, but Beckham's cheaper at 11-5, so I'm going to take him. As far as a value play on the Steelers' side, I really do like Deontay Johnson. It was James Washington who had a long touchdown last week, but Johnson has had the more consistent role. He played 72% of the snaps last week, whereas Washington was at 50%. Johnson has at least six targets in 64 yards in two or three games since Rudolph came back. So I think Deontay Johnson at $8,500 really does make sense. And then also, I don't mind Vance McDonald at $7,500 as another cheap value play on the Steelers' side. All right, Jim, thanks. Always appreciate your research and insight. You can get more of Jim's information on his podcast. It's called the Heat Check Fantasy Podcast and is available every Monday and Thursday on the Number Fire Daily Fantasy Podcast feed.